Hey guys, welcome to my first video. What are you doing? Stirring noodles. Macaroni stirs. A lot of cheddar. So this is the final product. Promise you it looks better in real life than it does on the camera. Classico uh, pasta sauce. Some of these, I call, like they're elbow macaroni noodles, but they're kind of twisted at the same time. They're not just an elbow. It's like two elbows put together. I'm going to call them double elbows. And they're ribbed. This is my, uh, my lunch. And um, it's okay. Whew. So I'm here in the kitchen. If you see me looking over in this direction, it's because I'm not used to seeing myself on the camera. And this light makes my mustache look extremely ginger. Or there's pasta sauce in it. Turns out there's no pasta sauce in my mustache. It's just the weird way that the lighting was there. I have no idea what that's about. So I'm here in the apartment. Um, as I was saying, I want the, the vlogs to be about weight loss. Um, and I feel like doing this is going to help me stick to that. And I'm going to be able to motivate myself by coming back and watching this and seeing where I'm at and where I'm doing. And, you know, hopefully I can convince myself to keep going because that seems to be a problem in my whole thing is I just quit. And after, you know, some things get rough, I have lost a lot of weight in the past. I was way bigger than what I am now. Ever since moving out with my girlfriend, Ashley, uh, things have gotten a lot better. She's very good at cooking. She is awesome. Um, and I just want to document our lives a little bit. So maybe you guys are into that. But today, I've got a goal. I've got to clean the kitchen a little bit. Ashley has gone to an interview for a veterinary assistant at a veterinary clinic so she's really excited about that she's been trying to get into grooming but um having a little trouble getting down that road so she's really out there trying and i'm so proud of her so the least i can do is clean up the friggin apartment a little bit here so i think we're gonna get to that i've got my girl foodie beauty on the tv as you can see the kitchen is just a little bit messy a few dishes to do i've got a pork tenderloin here i'm dethawing for tonight i'm gonna put that in the slow cooker actually cooked a fresh loaf of bread for the first time today and i'm not gonna lie a little bit doughy but hey she did a really good job she you know so here we have uh, the peanut butter always left out i love you ashley don't ever change and we have some leftover pasta so i've got a few things to clean up around here nothing crazy take the garbage out and that's where we're at i know ahead of time there's pasta sauce on my shirt it is what it is kitchen is looking spotless. I've got this bowl just sitting here drying a little bit. I've got to clean the range here a little bit because as you can see a little bit of pasta snuck through and I'm going to clean up the counter a little bit for the coffee pot. Sweep and that's about it. Clean kitchen. So you may have noticed that we have the bed in the living room. Um, that's because I don't know if I'm going to keep this in the video, but we've been dealing with a little problem um, that comes with living in an apartment. So we currently just found out a few weeks ago that we have had bed bugs and it was honestly one of the worst experiences of my life. So we had to take all of the clothing out of the room, get rid of the bed frame, wrap it up, throw it away, throw away the mattress, get a new mattress, put a bed bug mattress cover on it, and now we're waiting for the second inspection so that we can put a new frame together that we're buying off Amazon. I'll include a link in the description. We're gonna put that together and um, move everything back into the room, but as of right now, it's been really a pain in the ass and um, I hope nobody gets bed bugs. We're not dirty people. We were assured that. Um, we believe it came from another unit, which was, I don't, I'm not going to even worry about it right now, but we've taken care of everything, cleaned up everything, had a spray, um, and as of now, it's living in the living room. It's not so bad. Do with that what you want, you know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say when it comes to that. I'm honestly, I'm like, ashamed, but at the same time, we had no idea what was going on. They were there for such a short time. They told us that we got it really early, so we only got bit probably once, um, and that was it. That was enough for us to say, hey, what's going on? So, bedroom in the living room is a little bit of a different situation, but it's okay. I can even show you guys the bed bug room. Just don't get grossed out. I don't think it's gross. I haven't really been in there, but let's see. 
So here's the bedroom. Uh, we have a piece a garbage bag down. So in case, I, I have no idea if that's gonna help or not, but let's see. Oh, it smells nice in here at least. Um, this was the bedroom. As you can see, everything was taken care of. I don't know if that's the fumigation smell or if that's something else, but we haven't really been back in here. Here's the plastic wrap that our property manager gave us to wrap our frame all up in and dispose of. So that was very nice to them. As you like, as you can see, it's not a dirty room. It's a very nice, cozy room. There's a nice little area over here where you can, you know, do your thing. It's not so bad, but uh, let's let's stay out of here until we get a second uh, inspection, shall we? I wouldn't wish this on anybody because it's a pain in the ass and really stressful just kind of put a lot of stress on us i'll probably give you guys a full apartment tour once i kind of i want to get the bed out of here so we can show you what the proper bedroom is going to look like and all that tonight we're doing um not the healthiest meal yeah i think i'm going to make the pulled pork we're going to set up everything film it all and um hopefully it turns out really good i'll tell you guys what i'm putting in the barbecue sauce it's not really crazy it's just a little something something this is going to be boring vlog that i really hope ashley does awesome at this interview we'll know when she comes back i don't know if she's going to want to say anything on camera or not but um i'm extremely proud of her she's been working her ass off we have our differences and everything just like any normal couple um and i think that sometimes a little bit of stress does make you stronger but too much stress will break you so i'm glad that we're finally at a nice little spot again where things aren't stressing us out like with the bed bug situation or anything else and so we're able to just be us again so i'm happy about that i'm really excited for her i hope she gets this fingers crossed this is going really well so i'm here in the car my mouth has insane pasties right now my lips are dry but I'm here in the car and uh, Ashley had to run to the bank for a minute to sign off on some papers so we took a little trip out and I figured might as well just check in with you guys in the car I just want to touch base earlier on what I was talking about with the channel um, what I want it to be I wanted to focus on weight loss obviously not this vlog this is kind of like I was saying earlier a bit of a send-off so I'm gonna be trying to not pig out tonight but just have a nice respectable dinner I did pulled pork uh, the other night maybe a week ago ago and it turned out really fucking good and uh pulled pork the tenderloins are really cheap right now uh we're only paying like five something 550 for two big tenderloins that will do us for like two meals so uh, i'm just gonna finish up at the bank here head on home start the slow cooker get everything going and i think we're gonna be making some biscuits some cheese biscuits so i'm gonna film that too hopefully that turns out really good like six hours while i wait for this thing in the slow cooker to cook so we'll let you know how it turns out what are you doing i am going through career goals believe it you can accomplish mint it failure count <laughs> so back at the apartment we're getting ready to cook the pulled pork so for the pulled pork sauce we're going to be using sriracha a little bit of ketchup some salt squirt of valentina we're going to be using a combo of dirty diana's gourmet chicken and rib and a little bit of the gourmet original barbecue sauce. And I didn't do this last time. I didn't throw in any mustard, but I'm thinking I might do a squirt of mustard in there too. So maybe the measurements in the description, I'm not sure. Classic pepper. We got the peppercorns with the grinder, usual that. A um, little bit of seasoning salt. All of these spices too, like these three are from the dollar store and they're fucking awesome. So don't be hitting on the dollar store spices, y'all. And uh, ketchup. I don't know if I said that to begin with. Three cloves of garlic, which we're gonna be grating and putting it into the crock pot with the meat. Let's start whipping up some sauce. So I mixed up the sauce and everything, popped the meat in the slow cooker, and this is what we got. I'm gonna put it on high for the next probably four or five hours and give it a nice pull. Five hours later. I haven't pulled it yet. Oh, it's bubbling, as my girl Amber would say, but um, I might have to stir it around a little bit, but uh, pulled pork is coming along. What do you think? Is it pulling good? Yeah. How good? Let's get a look at that. Wait. Look at her pulling this pork. We're gonna put it back in the slow cooker on low for a little bit to let the juices redistribute in the pork a little bit, let it heat up some more. It's gonna be good, tubes. So we got the pulled pork all cooked up. It's uh, looking really good. Ashley took um, some of the leftover pasta that we made earlier today and she 
mix some of the pulled pork in with the pasta. It sounds really weird, but I tried it and it was kind of good. So I think I'm going to do the same. But I'll just give you guys a look at this beautiful pulled pork. Okay, just get ready. Are you ready? <gasps> it doesn't look very juicy, but um, there's juices in the bottom of there. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And uh, I'd say that's a pretty successful pulled pork. I'll probably leave the description for what I used for sauce, but uh, I think I already covered that earlier. So bam, done. Gonna eat. Just gonna try a little bit here for you guys. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no. That shouldn't be legal. I'm gonna continue eating a little bit of dinner and watching the Sopranos, and I think we're gonna go out and grab a little bit of weed, and yeah, that'll be fun. So, successful first day of vlogging. Boom. Boom.